Can the fight against racism ironically perpetuate the very concept it opposes? This question may seem paradoxical at first glance, but it's one that merits a deeper exploration. We're delving into the complex relationship between two seemingly opposing concepts, racism and anti-racism. The very existence of anti-racism is by definition a response to racism. It's born out of a desire to counteract and oppose racial prejudice and discrimination. However, in doing so, it inherently recognizes and acknowledges the existence of racism. It's a reactive concept, a push against a force, that force being racism. Without racism, there would be no need for anti-racism. So, here lies the paradox. Anti-racism, in its quest to eradicate racism, simultaneously keeps the concept alive. It's like a mirror image, reflecting back the very thing it seeks to eliminate. Every time we engage in anti-racist actions or discussions, we are, in a sense, reinforcing the existence of racism. We're saying, yes, racism is real, it exists, and we need to fight against it. But in doing so, we're also saying, yes, racism is real, it exists, and it continues to persist. Now this isn't to suggest that anti-racism is counterproductive or that it should be abandoned. Far from it. It's an essential tool in our collective effort to combat racial prejudice and discrimination. But it's important to recognize this inherent paradox and consider its implications. Is it possible to fight against racism without inadvertently perpetuating its existence? Can we challenge racial prejudice and discrimination without constantly reminding ourselves and others that these problems exist? These are complex questions with no easy answers. But by acknowledging this paradox and engaging in thoughtful, critical discussions about it, we can begin to navigate this complex terrain and work towards a more equitable and inclusive society. So let's ponder on this. If racism were to disappear, would anti-racism cease to exist? To delve into this paradox, we must first understand what we mean by racism. At its core, racism is a belief system. It's the idea that individuals can be categorized into distinct races, and that these categories determine not just physical characteristics, but mental and moral traits too. It's believing that some races are inherently superior or inferior to others. But racism isn't just about individual beliefs. It's systemic. It's ingrained in our institutions, our laws, our economies. It's a product of history, a lingering shadow of colonialism, slavery, and genocide. It's a system of power that advantages some at the expense of others, based on these perceived racial hierarchies. And it's cultural. It's in the media we consume, the stories we tell, the stereotypes we perpetuate. It's in the biases we aren't even aware we have. It's in the way we talk about us and them. It's in the way we define what's normal, what's exotic, what's other. Over time, racism has evolved. Once it was explicit, codified in law and forced by violence. Now it's often more subtle, more insidious. It's in the disparities in wealth, education, health. It's in the disproportionate numbers of people of color in prisons or living in poverty. It's in the microaggressions, the everyday slights and indignities, but it's also resisted, challenged, fought against. It's in the civil rights movements, the decolonization struggles, the fight for representation and equality. It's in the voices that refuse to be silenced, the narratives that refuse to be erased. Racism then, is not just prejudice but a complex system of power dynamics. It's a web we're all entangled in, a legacy we all inherit. Understanding this is the first step towards unraveling it, towards building a world that doesn't just tolerate diversity but values and celebrates it. Because the opposite of racism isn't just not racist, it's anti-racist. And that's a journey we'll explore in the next scene. Now that we understand racism, what then is anti-racism? Anti-racism is not simply the absence of racism, but an active and ongoing commitment to counteract it. It is the conscious decision to make frequent, consistent, equitable choices daily. These choices require ongoing self-awareness and self-reflection as we move through life. Anti-racism involves understanding the underlying structures that perpetuate racial disparities and then working to dismantle them. It's about recognizing that racism is not just about individual prejudice, but also about systemic power structures. It's about understanding that racism is embedded in our social systems, our institutions, and our everyday lives. Anti-racism is about challenging these structures. It's about acknowledging that these systems of power exist and then actively working to dismantle them. It's about not just acknowledging individual acts of racism, but also challenging the systems that allow these acts to continue. Anti-racism is a commitment to equality. It's about recognizing that all people, regardless of race, 
deserve equal opportunities and rights. It's about understanding that our differences in race do not make us inherently superior or inferior to one another. Anti-racism is also a commitment to action. It's not enough to simply not be racist. Anti-racism requires us to be actively against racism. It requires us to challenge our own biases to educate ourselves and others and to take action against racial injustice. Anti-racism is a journey. It's a process of learning, unlearning, and relearning. It's a process of growth and change. And it's a process that requires patience, understanding, and commitment. Anti-racism is not a destination, but a path. It's a path towards a more equitable and just society. It's a path that requires us all to walk together, hand in hand, challenging the systems that divide us and building a society that celebrates our shared humanity. Anti-racism, therefore, is a commitment to actively challenge and change the status quo of racial hierarchy. It's a commitment to strive for a world where race no longer determines one's opportunities or outcomes. With these definitions in mind, we see a curious relationship between racism and anti-racism. Much like the yin and yang of ancient Chinese philosophy, these two concepts are seemingly opposing yet interdependent. One cannot exist without the other. The existence and definition of anti-racism is in fact dependent on racism. It's a reaction, a response to racism. Without racism, anti-racism would not have a reason to exist, it would be a solution looking for a problem. It's a bit like a mirror, it only reflects what's in front of it. If there's nothing to reflect, the mirror has nothing to show. This leads us to a thought-provoking question. Is it possible that by focusing on racism, anti-racism may inadvertently maintain the concept of racism in our consciousness? After all, to fight against something, we must first acknowledge its existence. We must be aware of it, understand it, and most importantly, remember it. It's a bit like trying to forget a song. The more you try not to think about it, the more it sticks in your mind. The same could be said about racism and anti-racism. The more we focus on combating racism, the more we are reminded of its existence. We can't help but see the world through the lens of race, even as we strive to eliminate racial prejudice. This is not to suggest that anti-racism is somehow bad or harmful. Quite the contrary. It's a vital force in our ongoing struggle for equality and justice. But it does present us with a challenging paradox. How do we fight against racism without reinforcing the very concept we're trying to eradicate? It's a complex issue, one that requires deep thought and careful consideration. But it's an issue we must face if we are to make real progress in our journey towards a more equitable and inclusive society. Could it be that by focusing on racism, we are unwittingly keeping it alive? So, what does this mean for our fight against racism? It's a question that forces us to grapple with the paradox we've been exploring. The concept of anti-racism, while noble in its intent, is inextricably linked to the very notion it seeks to dismantle. This doesn't mean we throw in the towel and abandon our efforts. Rather, it suggests that we need to approach this issue with a heightened sense of awareness and nuance. Understanding this paradox is crucial. By acknowledging that anti-racism is tied to the concept of racism, we can begin to see our efforts in a new light. We can start to question whether our actions are truly countering racism or inadvertently perpetuating its existence. This awareness, while uncomfortable, is a necessary step toward effective change. So how can we combat racism beyond the traditional anti-racist approach? One potential strategy is to focus on unity and shared humanity. Instead of concentrating exclusively on our differences, we can shift our attention to our commonalities. This doesn't mean we ignore or downplay the unique experiences and challenges faced by different racial groups, but by emphasizing our shared experiences, we can foster a sense of empathy and understanding that transcends racial boundaries. Another strategy is to promote inclusive and comprehensive education. Schools should teach about the history and effects of racism, but also about the shared achievements and contributions of all races. This type of education is a powerful weapon against ignorance, one of the root causes of racism. Finally, we need to foster open, respectful dialogue about race. Too often these conversations are dominated by defensiveness and finger-pointing. By creating spaces for honest discussion, we can begin to break down the barriers that divide us. In our quest to eradicate racism, we must ensure that we do not inadvertently perpetuate it. This requires a deep understanding of the paradox at hand, a commitment to unity and shared humanity, and an ongoing dialogue about race. It's a challenging path, but it's a path worth walking. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment.
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.